Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about iPadOS 15. So of course, alongside with iOS and watchOS, Apple has also released the new version of iPad OS. It is of course iPad OS 15 and it brings quite a lot of new features and changes to your iPad. So in this video, I will show you guys my top 10 features for iPad users. These are features that are very useful and I believe most iPad users will find themselves using on daily basis on their iPads. Now before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button. This helps out a lot for this video to do much much better and of course I would really appreciate it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 features of iPadOS 15. So we're starting with the obvious one, the home screen widget. Now previously on iPadOS 14 we had the widgets right here on the side and of course they would display just on this part right here. Now with iPadOS 15, you can have them anywhere you want on the screen of your iPad. You can basically move them just like you do on your iPhone and place them anywhere you like. Now another great feature is that you can have like a different layout here. I can have this one right here on the landscape mode and I can move it around on the portrait mode and then of course it will change position as you change between the landscape mode and the portrait mode and that's really awesome. Now of course there are a bunch of like new widgets that have been added but most of these have been on iPadOS 14 as well but now you will be able to place them anywhere you want on the home screen of your iPad. As requested by many users of iPad since iPadOS 14 was released alongside with iOS 14 which got the new app library and iPadOS didn't, now the new app library has been brought to iPadOS 15 and it's quite good. I really love especially this animation that shows right there when you pop up the app library from the dock of your iPad. Now being that the app library is now on iPadOS 15, of course you can remove any of the home screen icons and just move them to the app library. So if we tap on remove app, now you get the option to remove them from the home screen and just move them to the app library. So that would be a very nice way to organize your iPad. Now going to the app library, you will have here the search bar, basically search for any of your apps and you will have all kinds of different categories of apps. Of course, that is also based on the apps that you have installed on your iPad. Now you can have access to this by tapping this button or just swipe to the last page of your home screen. Just like on iOS with iPadOS 15, now you can also delete and of course rearrange pages on the home screen. So you tap and hold anywhere on the screen and you get right here the dots, you tap on those and you will see a preview of the home screen pages that you have on your iPad. Now you can move them around if you want to rearrange them or of course you can tap right there to disable one of those and once you disable one, you can see if I disable that, it will show me that minus button right there at the top. I tap on it and I will be able to actually remove this page completely from the home screen. So I'll remove that and then of course all the apps, anything that's on that page will be moved automatically to the new app library. Changes have been made to the multitasking as well. So now you get those three dots right there with, when you're within an app. So if I just tap right there, you can see I will get a few options. So I can have the split view or I can have the card view right there. So you can see if I tap right there, it takes me to the home screen and it will ask me to go ahead and choose another app to open on split view. So this is what we get right here. And then I can tap right there again and I can make this as a card right there so an easy way to manage your multitasking app so really really cool on that one if i tap on it i can go ahead and go to split view again and here i can again choose another app to make basically a split view with that app so if we go back here so let's just disable that if we go back here and tap again turn this into a card and then again you can choose another app which you want to bring here to the main page and that will be turned automatically into a card. So these are the new multitasking features that Apple has added to iPadOS 15. Another multitasking feature can be found on the app switcher. So right here, if I go to the app switcher, you can see how it shows things right here. So I have these two apps that I have on full screen 
these I have on the split view and this one I have as a card. Now what I can do here is of course close that app if I want to and these two apps this is really interesting and very useful if I have these two on the split view when I want to close this I don't have to close both of them I can just swipe one of them up and of course the other one will go on the full screen mode. There is also the new quick note feature. Now it allows you to quickly take a note anywhere from your iPad simply by swiping up from the corner right here. It will pop up right here this like compact view of the note app. You can go ahead and add any link that you might have in handy right here. So just like that I can add that link that I had open in Safari in the background. Of course I can type here anything I want or just scribble here anything I want. So very, very easy to use and very convenient anywhere you're on iOS, basically on iPad OS, you just go ahead and pop this up and you will be able to create a note. Now, if you have something already doing here and you wanna create a new one, you just tap that little button right there and you can start creating a new note. Now, of course, you will also be able to move this around anywhere you want on the screen. As on iOS 15, iPadOS 15 of course also gets live text. Now live text basically allows you to recognize text from anywhere, maybe like a picture, the camera, the keyboard, or maybe just like a screenshot that you take of any text. So let's just try it out right here, take a screenshot. And you can see if we go to the screenshot, we will have right there the button for live text. Tapping right there on that button, we'll select any text that it recognizes right here on this screenshot. And of course, I can go ahead and copy this text and use it anywhere I want. A really nice feature to have, basically, you will find it useful, maybe like using the camera to translate or to, to even just call a phone number or anything you want. And that can be done now on iPadOS as well. Safari on iPadOS 15 also got updated with a bunch of new features. So we have the side view right here. We have the new tabs that you will find on your Safari app. And of course, you will have the new tab groups that Apple has added to Safari with iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 as well. So this new view of the tabs right here, it looks like similar to the one that you get on macOS. It makes it very easy for you to maybe rearrange your tabs or close any one of them very convenient to have them and if you tap right there you will be able to actually access your downloads from here if you have any downloads going on at the moment so a few nice changes it looks really good much better of course than on ios even though we have a bigger screen here it should look much better so this is what you get on safari you can hide and show right there the sidebar and it's actually really, really useful. You can go ahead and quickly create right, like a private tab from here or go to your tabs or just tap right there to create a new group of tabs on Safari in iPadOS 15. And if you jump to the settings of Safari on iPadOS 15, you will have here two different views that you can choose from. You will have separate tab bar and compact tab bar. Now, let me just show you how that looks and of course, how it changes the look of Safari. So let's just open here a few tabs so there we have a few tabs opened and you can see the difference between the compact bar basically this one will minimize the other ones and just basically show you a bigger one for the one that you have currently open while this one will show all of them at the same size and finally ipad os 15 brings the low power mode to ipads this has been a feature missing on iPad OS, on iPads in general, since it once it was released on iOS, now it's finally here. Now I can enable it by going simply to settings. You will have the battery right here that will have low power mode. Now, when you install iPad OS 15, you won't get it on the control center. So make sure you go ahead, go to settings, go to control center, and you add low power mode by simply tapping that button. Now you have a right there a button to quickly turn on low power mode on your iPad. A new feature on iPad OS is called Shelves. Now this one is really interesting. It works on apps like maybe Pages or Email. Really, really interesting. So what we have here, you can see an email. What if I want to open that one on a new window? I 3D touch on it and tap open in new window. Now if I just minimize it right here, you can see where it does show that tab right there i can go ahead and open it of course from here so really cool you will have these kind of like 
tabs or whatever you want to call them right here to switch between them so if i want to go there to the main page i tap here and i have all the other ones opened right there so tap right there i can go ahead and move it actually to the card or just add it to the split screen very very useful this is a new feature of ios ipad os 15 called shelves and just like on iOS 15, iPadOS 15 also will get a system-wide translation feature. So basically any text you can select on your iPad with iPadOS 15, you can go ahead and translate that text. So if I select that, tap on the translate button, I can go ahead and translate it from any language I want that is available here. And you can see, I can go ahead and manage right there. It just shows you this pop-up and you can just go ahead and quickly translate things directly from any app anywhere on iPadOS 15 that of course you can select a bunch of text you can go ahead and choose to translate that text you can add these to your favorites the languages right here you can basically play and see how it sounds on the languages that you're translating a very nice feature and of course very convenient to have the ability to translate any text you want from anywhere on your iPad so that's basically it for this video guys these are my top 10 iPad OS 15 features for iPad users. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys on the next one.